so good morning all of you we'll be starting with the practice sessions now this practice session is dedicated to a uh, kind of numerous questions that are there they are from diversified section a kind of holistic approach for your real examination so we will be having questions from data interpretation uh, not in this session but yes we in the upcoming sessions we would be having data interpretation we today we have reading comprehension analytical reasoning a little from mathematical aptitude a lot of questions from analytical reasoning and then you have number number series and uh, non verbal problems that are there yes ramit so uh, let's begin with the very first question now first question is a reading comprehension question so uh, just go through the passage i'll give you a while to read this and understand this and then towards the passage end of the passage try to attempt the questions that is there so i'll just give you a while to go through the passage Deepa uh, yes kurukshetra and yojana what we believe is uh, just go through the major programs and policies it's not required that you go through the complete compilation but yes any new program policy that has been released for example you must know about poshan abhiyan you must know about mission indradhanush the basic schemes that are there uh, for what respect those schemes have come up and that's very very important rehmat i recommend you to read the passage once again you are very close to the answer but yes you need to read the passage once again so the passage talks about how the oceans are turning into plastic soup you have a lot of plastic that is being disposed 90% of the plastic that is being used is a kind of single use plastic and that's filling up uh, the oceans very badly so we really have a concern with the plastic and the adverse impact it's causing on to the ocean ecosystem so therefore Yes Ramit you are right so uh, uh, there is a genuine com- confusion between C and D for most of the uh, things that are there uh, Deepa you can just check out the exam days current affairs section go through the current affairs the highlights of the current affairs specifically that on education and uh, polity environment so those three are very very important Mahesh has the right answer here so D is the right answer now understand it carefully if you are going only through the last sentence you might feel that creating awareness or saving the environment is really important but it's not the case the most important thing here is throughout the passage we are talking about how oceans are being filled with plastic and the adverse impact that is being caused uh, therefore we need to uh, generate substitutes which are eco friendly again the c point says create awareness among people on how plastic enters our food chain so there is nothing being mentioned about how uh, plastic enters our food chain and awareness being linked to it so where it has been talked about plastic entering into the food chain it's just saying that the plastic plastic is causing a lot of harm to our ecosystem and the food chain so the two cannot be related here i hope that's clear okay good so the next question here is a question from reasoning mathematical aptitude so 30 women can do a job in 15 days 15 men can do a job in 20 days what is the ratio between men and women now the most important thing to remember is the ratio is asked between the capacity of men and women so don't get confused uh the ratio shouldn't be vice versa however the choices are not that so it shouldn't be a problem in this case but in other case it's genuinely a problem where you have uh the choices that are uh, Uh, jumbled up so let's say it's 3 is to 2 and 2 is to 3 then you have an obvious confusion which would be the right answer so kamini has the answer here kamini just try to solve it once more and mandeep right mandeep has the right answer kamini again has the right answer okay so it's a kind of very simple problem 30 women can do work in 15 days so the total work done would be 13 to 15 that is 450 so in one day how much work would be done 1 by 450 however 15 men can do the work in 20 days so the total work done would be 15 into 20 how much is the work it is 300 now how much would be the work done in one day it would be 1 by 300 we have to find the ratio between men and women so read it carefully it's a ratio between men and women so 1 is to 300 is to 1 is to 450 that is 450 is to 300 00 cancel 
and 15. So 3 is to 2. So 3 is to 2 would be your right answer. A lot of you, Kamini, Mandeep, Vikas, great going. So lot of you with right answer. Yes, Raman. Okay. The next question is again a very simple question from arithmetic progression series. So you have to sum up the positive integers from 1 to 100. You definitely need to do a shortcut. Otherwise, if you'll keep on adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, it would take up a lot of time and you would be probably able to finish only this question by the time your exam is over. So uh, you have to have a kind of shortcut to understand that now arithmetic progression geometric progression and harmonic progression three main progressions uh, which we talk about and usually you have the questions which are related to arithmetic progression now this is a very direct question where it's obviously given that you have to sum up the integers from 1 to 10 sometimes there are word problems where you have uh, every birthday a child blows the same number of candles the age he is and then that makes the question confusing but again it's the same thing so if it's three year he'll be growing three candles four year four candles and so on so uh, that's again a question on arithmetic pro uh, progression but the only thing is the language becomes a bit tricky so great uh, rahmat shivani hemant vikas all of you with right answers great going so simply what you can apply is n into n plus one divided by two so you have 100 numbers 100 into 101 divided by two so that that is 50 into 101 and that makes it 50 into 100 now what's the easier way to solve it i can simply do 50 into 100 that is 5000 and then 50 into 1 that is 50 i'll add these two so it is 50 50 so 5050 would be your right answer i hope that's clear okay so a lot of you with correct answer great going the next question is a question where you have an analytical reasoning problem now read the question very very carefully some of you might feel that the information given is incomplete it's hard to derive the correct answer based on it but no for most of the analytical questions the information is complete the only simplest way to solve is, is devise a table now once you have a table fill in all the entries and once you fill in all the entries all the questions would be sequentially solved so we have four questions based on this today and all four could be attempted if we work on this passage carefully so here is the passage and the first question that I have for you is, which sport is scheduled on Wednesday? Now, how do you find it out? So, let's work together. I have uh, the table that I would draw is, there are five sports and Monday to Friday. So, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Friday so those are the five days on each day you have just one sport now volleyball cannot be scheduled on Tuesday cricket has to be played on Tuesday so I just know about cricket and that is on Tuesday volleyball is not on Tuesday so obviously one game on one day so volleyball cannot be the option now football has to be scheduled immediately after the day the hockey is and basketball is scheduled immediately before the day the hockey is so let's say this is hockey basketball is immediately before it so you have basketball on top of it and football immediately after it so football below it now that means what information i have is all these three games should be together now when i say all these three games should be together the only days which are together that are wednesday thursday and friday so i simply put basketball hockey and football here now what is left is volleyball so the only place left for volleyball is monday i hope you get this table now just with one information that was there about cricket being scheduled on Tuesday, we were able to derive all the remaining informations. Now my first question is, which sport is scheduled on Wednesday? So Wednesday, you can easily find out what would be the sport. Yes, Puneet, you have the right sequence. Okay, so which sport is scheduled on Wednesday? So the correct answer would be basketball as you can directly see basketball is scheduled on wednesday so that was the first question the second question is which sport is scheduled between basketball and football so let's go back so between basketball and football what is the sport the sport is 
hockey and that is again given for from the passage itself so hockey is the game which is scheduled between basketball and football the next question is which is the sport scheduled on monday so as we saw all the sports were there the only sport that was left was volleyball for monday so for monday you have volleyball as the right answer the next question is which sport is scheduled after volleyball so volleyball was on monday and in the information itself it is given that tuesday is cricket so you would have cricket on tuesday and the last question based on the same is which sport is on the last day of the week so if i go back onto the table here the last day of the week is friday for us and on friday we have what we have football as the game so you would have football as the right option i hope that's clear a very simple way of solving the analytical problem and therefore i usually tell students that if you are working on analytical reasoning problems if you are solving those questions correctly uh, try to solve and form the table one so if you do that correctly you would obviously end up with a very correct answer and that would make uh, a score very much higher because three to four questions on the same passage so all of those would turn out to be correct okay the next question here is you have the following figure what would be the missing number here now how do you calculate in place of question mark what should be there so this is a surprise question looking for the first correct answer for question 9 question 9 looking for the first correct answer no issues you can uh, just work on the question that we are on question 9 looking for the first correct answer it's a surprise question it's indeed a very simple question you have to found out great puneet right answer so now you we will understand how this answer has come up so in the first case let's say 2 multiplied by 25 gives me 50 similarly in the second uh, square box it is 4 multiplied by 25 and that would give me how much that would give me 100 now what we need to understand is the second uh, row here so the second column sorry uh, second column you have 8 multiplied by 4 that gives me 32 so for the second square second column you would have x multiplied by 4 that would give me 48 so x would be 48 divided by 4 that is how much 1 and 2 so 12 becomes my right answer i hope that's clear okay so uh, deepa vikas had some issues i hope the confusion is now clear so you have to multiply the same way the things are going in the first square you have to replicate it in the second square so the first column we multiply it by 25 in both the cases and the second column we multiply it by 4 in both the columns i hope that's clear uh, vikas uh, not vikas he uh, yes vikas and uh, uh, others who had the incorrect answer yes nih nihal we would be preparing a lot of questions for cds so we would be having eight classes back to back till your uh, uh, cset examination so where we would be covering a variety of questions it would be from reading comprehension so today is the first of that class and we would be having uh, classes daily for the coming eight days okay except sunday obviously okay now coming on to the next question this question you have a number series now the most important thing is you have to find out what would be the next number this appears to be a pretty difficult and is again one of the surprise questions so looking for the correct answer looking for the correct answer for this question so it would be at 10 am only kamini for the coming 8 days we would be having classes at 10 am and that would be the simple questions related to comprehension reasoning analytical all mixed under one so a variety of questions that we would be covering 
Mageshwari, I want you to uh, try it once more. This is the last question for today, but the most trickiest question of all the questions that we have done so far. Great, uh, no, Rahmat has the right answer here. And that's where is the confusion between choice A and D. So read the choices very, very carefully. Might be Atul, you try to find out the right answer, but you were confused with the choices, right? Oh, great. So unexpectedly, uh, many of you have the correct answer. Now, how do you solve it? It's a kind of very simple solution that I would suggest you here is, I do two square minus one. So two square is four, four minus one is how much? 3 so that becomes my next number now I take the next number that is 3 I do 3 square minus 1 so that is 9 minus 1 and it becomes 8 now I have my next number which is 8 I do 8 square minus 1 8 square is 64 64 minus 1 that is 63 so I have my further next number here so I can how can I get a next number so I can get my next number by 63 square minus 1. So 63 multiplied by 63, you have 9, 18, and then you have again 189. Uh, you solve it 9, uh, you have 7, 1, 9, and uh, 1. Uh, so you have, sorry, uh, 3, uh, 6, 18. Okay, so you have 9 and 1 again. So you solve it and you do minus 1. So you have the right answer there. Okay. So I hope that's clear. Any questions, any doubts in the passage that we have covered so far? Okay, so the only thing you need to take into consideration is you need to find out that the things are growing exponentially and when the things are growing exponentially, you have to find out the exponent value for the next set and that's the most important thing that we do. Uh, Rehmat, please send in uh, the details at uh, admin at examrace.com so yes you have 3969 minus 1 okay so 3969 minus 1 and that's 3968 and willingly you had two choices which were confusing here so while marking the answer be very very particular 9669 you are not getting confused and that's the most crucial thing to mark out here okay so that's very very important okay Yeah, sorry, I made it, uh, I divided, multiplied it again by 3. It was multiplication by 6. So, yes, so it's 8, 1, 36 and 1, 37. So, 189 and 3, 7, 8. And when you add this, that would be 3, 9, 6, 9 minus 1. And that would be 3, 9, 6, 8. Okay. So, be very sure that you don't do silly mistakes. Okay. So good luck. We will be meeting tomorrow again at 10 a.m. with some more aptitude questions. So stay tuned till then. Have a wonderful day ahead.